Digital Artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make something called an informational collage. Now collage is a French word that means stuff that's glued. So you will need some glue. If you don't have glue, you can use tape today, but I've got that as well. But glue is best. You'll also need um, a picture of a tree. Miss Summer or Miss Cindy should have emailed you one, or if you don't have a printer, or if your printer is out of ink like mine is, I drew one with marker. You can draw it or you can have someone in your family draw it. And then you're going to need a picture of a small deer, small picture of a deer. My, I had to draw mine and I made it too big, so I drew a smaller one. You will also need some colored paper. Now, uh, the example uses red and green, so that's what I'm going to be using. But sometimes trees have different color leaves too. Sometimes they have red or green leaves, and sometimes they have little pink flowers. Sometimes they have little white flowers. So you figure out what color of leaves your tree has and get those. You'll also need a brown piece of paper. And if your paper is only white at your house, you can use crayon or markers and color it. So what I've done to color mine, I got a marker and I took the, the, fab, the paper off, just like we did last week. And I pushed it, just like we did last week to make the leaf rubbings. Okay? Now. The next thing you'll want to do is make teeny tiny little pieces. You can either tear, take your paper and tear it up into tiny little pieces about as big as your finger. Or you can get scissors and practice cutting teeny tiny little pieces. See, I have my brown paper, I'm cutting it into small pieces. You don't need to cut all of your paper. If you want to save some for other art, other art projects, you can. So, I'm going to pause the video so that you can take your paper and tear it into small little pieces. When I'm back, I'll have a big pile of all the colors. Okay, I finished tearing up my pieces. Now I have a pile of brown paper, a pile of orange, and a pile of red. So what I'm going to do is put the colors on my tree where they belong. So let's start with the brown. What in a tree is the color brown? The trunk and sometimes branches are the color brown. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put just a dot, not a lot, on the back and then I'm going to glue it in place. Mrs. Hendricks is using special black glue. Just a dot, not a lot. Flip it over. Just a dot, not a lot. Flip it over. I like this black glue because you can see I'm only putting a dot everywhere I glue. Just a dot, not a lot. Just a dot, not a lot. I want to put some up here too, but my pieces are a little too big. So I'm going to use a smaller piece that I tore that will fit in that space. Just a dot, not a lot. And the fun thing about collage is your pieces can overlap to fit in your tree trunk. Just a dot, not a lot. Now I'm ready to put some up here. I'm going to make it look like a tree branch. 
which means I want my brown pieces to be glued down in a line. Because tree branches grow in straight lines, don't they? Just a dot, not a lot. Find some of my smaller pieces. Oh, that one is two pieces. I'm making a Y with my branches. This branch is going to go up into the tree. I want you to notice that I'm working in a line. I think that's enough tree branches for now. So next, I want to do my leaves. I have red and I have orange. And trees have red and orange leaves all over. So I don't need to worry too much about where I put which color. Remember, they can overlap so I can put them on top of part of my branch but I don't want to cover up my branch all the way because I want people to see that there are branches up high in, the, in all the leaves. After all, the leaves grow off of the branches, don't they? They, just, they don't just float. Okay, I'm going to fill up my whole tree with leaves. I'll see you in one minute. Okay, I'm unpaused, and now my tree has a trunk, branches, and leaves. Now we need to take care of our little deer. When you're doing art, there's something that you need to remember. If you're gonna be coloring something, if you're gonna be cutting something, and you're gonna be gluing something, you have to do it in the right order. The order is color, cut, glue. All right, repeat after me. Color, cut, glue. So what's the first step? Color. I'm going to get my brown crayon, which where did it go? Did I put it away? I did. I've got my brown crayon and I'm going to color my little deer, not the big one, the little deer. Notice how I'm going to color inside the lines, but the fun thing, the reason why we say color cut glue is because what if, oops, I make a mistake and I color out of the lines. Guess what? Since we're going to be cutting out this deer, my mistake will just disappear. It won't even matter. If we had already cut out the deer and I made a mistake, I would have gotten color on the table, wouldn't I? That would be bad. So, now I've got my deer, I've got my scissors. I'm going to, one quick trick, if you're cutting something small, it helps to cut around it first. Okay, I cut around my deer, and then I'm going to cut closer to my deer. Watch me. Oh, let's go like this. Watch me. If you are too nervous to cut the small spaces like the ear itself, that's okay. You can go across. Let's see what happens when I get to that mistake I made. <gasps> I can cut the mistake off. It's like it never happened. Now I'm not going to cut in there. I'm gonna leave them the way it is for this project. If you want to cut inside them, you can. Okay, I colored, I cut, and now I'm ready to glue. I'm gonna bring my project back. And this is an informational collage, so we're trying to make it look like real life. So should my deer be in the tree? No, he should be down on the ground below the tree. I'm going to turn my deer over and I'm going to put just a few dots 
one on the tail, one on the feet, one on the feet, and one on the head. The dots that you make with your glue should be just as small as ladybugs. You can also use tape. And then I'm gonna push, 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 push on all the places that I had glue. And now my informational collage is complete. There you go. This is what you're gonna do this week and next week, just with different trees. So if you have any questions, come back to this video. Have fun, good luck.